to be Susie Sue, I wanted yeah. to be David Bowie, I wanted to be Mark Bowler and I wanted to be uh, the Colts, I wanted to be uh, fucking Sisters of Mercy, that's that's why I started this fucking band. How do you open these cigarettes? Our influences are like proper 80s goth or post punk. We just we've got really good chemistry, and like particularly me and Dave. I mean, I can like come up with a song, and like I can give it to Dave, and literally within. And this is like the first time we ever met Dave. We had like songs like "Shut Your Mouth," for example. That's quite an old song, and he, that we had that even before Dave joined the band, pretty much. And he just kind of gave it to Dave, and he just basically put the sheen on it, completely turned it around, and he just like that was the song where we thought actually this is something's going to happen, and this is something special. And we can do that time and time again. You just kind of, Dave will always just come in and say, yeah, not really feeling that, guys, or yeah, this one's sounding good. And you just know it will instantly just turn around and it'll be a great song. And that's just the way we work. Isn't it? It's quite, it's quite, it's quite simple. We're quite a simple band, really, but in terms of the way we work. to have some form of kind of queer kind of aspect to it as well because that that's that's where I am at the moment this is you know yeah. I'm part of a very very kind of extremist left-wing political kind of environment society all that kind of stuff the way my life is and where, like where I am and where the, and the people that I kind of associate myself with you know very kind of it's very kind of queer oriented I know a lot of trans people I know a lot of kind of very kind of gender non-specific people and I think politically I think that's kind of where and what I'm writing at the moment I like to I like to be a bit kinky. I like to be a bit sordid, and I like to you know kind of just be. Well, I like to swear a lot. To be fair, yeah. I think it's big and I think it's fucking clever. Yeah. stand out a little bit.
way the way that we just like give Dave a platform to do whatever he wants to do effectively. Like we just write write the songs and then Dave has just got free reign to just do what he wants to do. And like we completely trust Dave and everything he says. Um, I must admit, you know, like from the from the time that I met those guys, like the first time I went into that fucking pack room practice room, I was there in a pair of trousers. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I don't, I don't necessarily think they knew what, what they were in for. Yeah. Let me be honest. I was like, oh yeah, I've been in bands before. Yeah. I was in, I was in a band called uh, Kill Surf City, and we played Leeds Festival, and you know. But at the end of the day, when when I played in in, in that band, like you know, it was it, it was a case of I, I was riding off the whole kind of uh, kind of uh, Interpol thing. And, uh, Jesus and Mary Jane. We got, to, we got, we got far to a certain extent, but it just kind of didn't work. But uh, I think that I think this band. Do you know? Do you know what it is? Is I like the fact that you're all fuck, you're all from fucking Bromley, <laughs> you're all straight, and I'm the only fucking queer in this in this fucking in this band. And also, what I love about it more is the fact that like you're all so accepting, and you all just kind of go, uh, oh. Uh, he's doing that. It's all right. <laughs> it's it's not too bad. It's yeah. not too bad. It's fine.